Audiences in Nashville have been fine. They've been good. We sold out six shows. They have not been as amazing as Texas. I've been really getting into Texas. A lot of, we're really thinking about, we're thinking about maybe moving Los Angeles. We talked about this earlier today. We're thinking about getting out of California. Mm -hmm. And, and it, it's, it, it, part of it is the economic collapse, the fires, the homelessness, the civil unrest, the racial tension, the policing, uh, the lack of freedom, the dirt, the diseases that are coming back, the high cost of living, the high property tax burden, the high income tax burden, the mismanagement of the state, uh, the political uh, issues, um, the earthquakes, earthquakes, the tectonic issues. That's just to name a few negatives. The death of Hollywood, how embarrassing it is to even be in this business. The idea that everything is independent now and you don't have to be in Los Angeles to get any opportunities and nobody's giving you any opportunities. You give them to yourself. And the opportunities you get can get taken right away. And we're thinking, we're thinking about moving. And I got to be honest with you, I mean, for no other reason, and me and Ben literally just threw a fuck. We looked at America and we threw a fucking pin at the country mm -hmm. and, and, and we didn't even know where it was going to go. We're, we're thinking about maybe Austin, Texas. <laughs> And it's just, and we threw a pin and it was, the room was dark and the map was dark. And we just threw a pin and I said, what is that? And it was Austin, Texas. And it's so, and again, I don't know if we'll know anyone there. I don't know if anyone we know lives there. Probably not. We'll probably be alone. We'll probably be the biggest podcast in Austin, Texas. <laughs> If we move there, I'm not saying we will, but I imagine if we do, we'll be number one pretty quickly. But maybe we'll go there. I don't know. I spoke to a realtor. I called a realtor, but you know me, I do a little fake business. So I don't know if it becomes real business, but I, I am a little sick of the idea. When you sit in LA and you sit in these restaurants and you watch how silly this town is, how Sad it is. Uh, in LA, you have two extremes of people. You have 16-year-olds who've just arrived, the TikTok kids who are running around, the paparazzi are chasing them. They they've got a you know, they've got it's a quick burn, their careers, but they're getting money stuffed down their throat. Uh, they're having a ball. Um, and then on the other side, you have people that won't let fame go. They won't let it go. They they just, you know. They're holding on to it for dear life. The, both of those things are very interesting to watch. You're between both of them in LA. You have people that are relevant for no reason immediately uh, who are like just in a daze or in a haze. They, these kids don't even know what's happening. They're just being followed around by paparazzi. They're making all this money. They're, some of them are savvier than others, but they're, they're just like, wow, what the fuck? And then on the other end, you have people that are just at the end, you know, they're, they've, they've done it. They've done what they came to do. And many of them don't know that yet. No one's informed them. No one's pulled them aside and said, you've done this. You did it. It's time to graduate. Here's your diploma. Now walk out. You should have did this years ago. Walk out with the class. Now you can't keep coming back into the school. We know you like the pep rallies. We know you like the pep rallies. We know you like homecoming. We know you enjoy it. We know it's fun and you feel just like you felt the first time you did it. But I'm here to tell you this. Everybody's creeped. They're creeped out. You know? And I'm telling you, it's like Grizabella. If you've seen Cats, it's a gay podcast. I shit on sports. I'm talking about cats. But <laughs> Grizabella in, 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 uh, in the play Cats is like an old uh, cat. Mm -hmm. And, and, and she's like, she sings memories, memory, da, 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 da. and she's like this ratty cat that walks out. And that's what you have in Hollywood. You got a bunch of ratty cats walking around that don't know it's time to go die. And cats go die alone. Sometimes you got to go die alone. Whitney was making me laugh. Whitney Cummings was like obsessed with helping animals. And uh, which is what I like about her. If she helped people, it would be grotesque. But I like that she helps animals. 
And uh, she kept picking up a cat on her way back to the comedy store, taking it to the animal hospital. And they kept going, the cat's just trying to die. Like cats go alone to die. So like literally this cat is trying to die. And the Whitney's like putting it on her Instagram, like saved it again. And the cat's like, let me die. <laughs> 